Hi, in this video, we're going to cover how to process HeroPay payments, the German payment method on a Webflow website. So we're looking at the Webflow wishlist, alternate billing payment methods, bank transfer, blah, blah. Many customers, especially in EU countries, do not have regular access to traditional credit card forms of payment. Bank Hero wire transfer, uh, PayPal and Bitcoin. We're going to show um, bank transfer in a different video. This one we're going to just cover Hero Pay. So here I have a template Webflow website with just a black and gray color scheme and I created a pricing page. Uh, Hero looks like it's only for one-time payments, not for recurring subscriptions. It's a really good idea to just Google Stripe Hero Pay and look over the documentation for Stripe. We can only do things that are available via Stripe. We can't magically make Stripe do something that it's unwilling to do. For example, you can't process a recurring subscription with Hero Pay. So the main points here are it's single use, which means it's not for recurring subscriptions, and you get immediate notification. So you don't need to, in our app, Paid Members app, you can make a Hero Pay only payment link, which you can't do in your Stripe uh, account alone. You do need a standard Stripe account, which is available for free at stripe.com to do this. Uh, we can make a hero only link, uh, like this uh, image right here is linked to a Stripe payment link. We just put a little image of hero pay, and when clicked, you would go to a payment that is just for hero pay only. There's no credit card option. That is something you can do with paid members app because we just pass in that one payment method, hero pay, if that's what you want. You can pass in anything that's enabled in your Stripe account. Or you can do, just with Stripe payment links alone and your Stripe account, you can make a uh, payment link that is for credit cards and Hero Pay, like this button here. We'll open up the Stripe checkout session with the option to pay with card or with Hero Pay. You can do that, again, with your Stripe account alone. But this link here, that's just for Hero Pay, you can only do in our app. It needs to be a one-time payment, and we're going to get immediate notification. So after the payment, you can choose to do many things, like show a message, redirect to a thank you page, or with our app, you can pop up a form for login, so customers can then log in. They can access members-only pages if you have any, and they can get immediately into Stripe customer portal via our um, via the Stripe uh, customer portal API, uh, rather than having to authenticate again, which I will demonstrate. So let's say your customer wants to pay with just Hero Pay, so they're going to go ahead and put in their name. Let's say this person's name is Mia Schmidt. Uh, at test.com. We're in test mode, so we can put in a test email, and her name is Mia, S-C-H-M-I-D-T. And I don't know German addresses, so I'm just going to use a, uh, a U.S. address supplied by Stripe, and I'm going to go ahead and pay. And we are in test mode, purchasing the silver plan. So it's a plan that would be like a one-year subscription, non-recurring. And uh, they have a little note about asynchronous payments. Uh, if you're connected to Paid Members app, we're always listening 24-7, 365 to your connected Stripe account. You just connect your Stripe account to us and we will listen for payments. And I'm gonna go ahead and authorize this test payment. And so then our app can send you out emails like this one that will, that will uh, inform you that a customer signed up. That's an optional email to receive or not receive. And then we decide to redirect. We can redirect to that thank you page or to just a, a message in Stripe checkout. And we pull the name and email from the checkout session. And this is a page that's hosted by us. And we pull all your colors from your brand settings in your personal Stripe account. And that's also what will happen on Stripe customer portal so that there is a smooth flow between your website's branding and our hosted forms like this one, where your customer can create a password and Stripe customer portal. So I'm gonna create a password for this customer, and then I'm going to log in. We send out another optional email if you like, and then the customer can view this My Account link, and you can translate that if you want to any language, including German. And the customer can see any pages they have access to, they can manage their password so they can log in, and then we have this magic link that will go to Stripe customer portal, because when we process this payment, a customer is created in Stripe Customer Portal, we can use the Stripe API to send this customer directly to their customer portal where they can manage their subscription. Uh, that's a lot better than the, the Stripe no code version of Stripe Customer Portal where they have to authenticate again. So using Hero Pay, it looks like Stripe does not save the payment method or an invoice history in Stripe customer portal. But the customer can go ahead, actually I'll show you, and they can add a payment method if they want. So for example, they can add a um, credit card or a bank account.
OK and then back to the website. So that is how you offer a um, add a Stripe payment link to your uh, Webflow website. One of the benefits of Stripe payment links is that they replace all the code that used to be Stripe checkout. It was a lot of code you had to embed in a custom HTML. And now you can put a payment link on text like this, or on a button, or on an image like this Hero Pay image. And you can also put these links into social media, or you could send a customer an email, for example, with a Stripe payment link. That would the same thing would happen when they click that link in your email. It would just open up this Stripe checkout session so they can initiate the charge via just anywhere that you can put that link. And that's how you add Hero Pay for one time purchases on your Webflow website using Stripe, Stripe payment links, and integrated with Stripe customer portal.